Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and I'm up today with some fabulous stuff and it's all from Panalisa so I'm just going to get stuck in and tell you we're going to be doing Halloween for a couple of weeks so how's that right so first up I was sent some stickers so I've already got them out so that I can show you so we've got kind of day of the dead characters we've got the i don't know if my camera is going to behave today probably around there so aren't they great i just absolutely love them he's holding an umbrella behind his back and we've got a scaredy cat and we've got a haunted house and we've got a corner piece of a witch wouldn't that look fabulous in the corner of a journal love it love the way that they've been cut and then you've got another skull we've got our tattoo type rose that you could add more colour to if you wanted to and then you've got little Halloween greetings and then oh we've got a coffin there yeah. we've got a nice Halloweeny coffin and we've got a nice skull he's got one eye <laughs> reminds me of the Terminator and then we've got a little bottle there with a sample of a brain and we've got another lady a Celtic gravestone we've got a book and I do not know what that says tombs of monuments that's what that says and we've got a gorgeous crow I do love crows I've got um, a huge crow in my garden it's plastic and it kind of hangs off of um, my vegetable arch which is what I grow cucumbers and stuff on and uh, I call him Poe so he's Poe the Crow hanging in my garden and then we've got a lovely kind of haunted vampire type castle another potion bottle arsenic poison and then we've got somebody quite literally wearing their coffin around their neck another little potion bottle with eyeballs in it I hope you can see that and then we have an owl swooping down so those are the stickers next up is paper and we're switching completely and I'm just gonna open the bag to make it easier for me to pull out and it's a Christmas pack and it's in really lovely icy icy purple blue so I'm trying to pull there we go hold that bit down so you can see these the way that they are you can quite literally fold them into books so I'm just gonna take them off slowly so that I'm not making anybody seasick really great colors because they're just different and you've got that one December Santa's head Christmas exhibition that could be another cover couldn't it love that one and then we've got another Santa I do like the old-fashioned looking Santas and a lantern and all bits and pieces dangling whoops get into that one this is thick paper again just like that Halloween pack that I shared with you last week you've got lovely icicles there that you could actually touch up and throw some glitter onto and then you've got Santa and children best wishes for a happy Christmas so that could you know be folded and be a lovely card insert and then last but not least we've got birdies and a house very traditional Joya Noel at the bottom you've got your holly and you've got your bells and they look kind of frosty there we go so once again you know you can add little bits of glitter detail if you're using them to make cards right I'm just gonna quickly pause while I move those to get the dies right so first up we have a fox set and it's a kind of humany looking fox if you know what I mean and there's a dress and there's um, a t-shirt and shorts and little shoes and stuff so that you can dress the fox up 
now if you look on the website you'll see that this is done really cute and I'm going to do this one tomorrow using other elements of the haul that I've got here and I'm going to turn mine Halloween because I just think this is a great die so I think it's one of those you know me and I just love things that will go through seasons so I'm going to put that over to there because I'm going to be making that tomorrow right next up we have a huge huggy bear holding a frame can have a photo in there or whatever it is you choose to do or you could stamp an image or just have the word love as it's got there and you've got a tiny little bear and a bow and a pair of glasses it's just really sweet and I can tell you it is large it is oh if we're going to be absolutely accurate about it it's four and three quarters that's how tall it is and then its widest point is its hands and that is three and a half inches so just really sweet and then I've got a Halloween pop-up house so you can see the element here where it would fold so that you can post it flat but then it pops up and stands up so that's a regular garden house can be turned into a Halloween house you can see you've got these that are spring tulips but you can do them in I don't know orange purple black white and just make the whole thing very Halloween if you wanted to but then you can also take those elements away and you can make this into a Christmas house so I think that's a great one again for all seasons and then we've got a tiered tray isn't that nice it's all chunky it's lovely and there are all kinds of little Halloween elements that I'm going to show you in a minute that you could stuff into there but any little dies that you've got you can put into a tiered tray to make the card different every single time and I can't measure the height because I haven't made it yet but I will measure the width and that is two and five eighths wide right next up is the little bits and bobs I was telling you about so you've got a little witch's broom, you've got candy and ghosts and pumpkin, that lovely little haunted house and candelabra. And I think those are the bits that go with the candelabra. I'm not 100% sure. And then you've got the witch's cauldron. So just really cute. And you can see that they all fit to go in and make the tiered tray. I'm going to do the tiered tray, but I want to use elements from this with my fox tomorrow so I'm putting that there and here's another one that will decorate your house to make that a haunted house so you've got a coffin shaped door instead of this traditional one and then you've got lovely shutters on the windows and a spooky tree I love the spooky sentiment there that cuts out and lays onto here and there's a witch's hat with a, a little belt buckle and I want to use that on one of my foxes and then you've got the lovely candy corn and the bats little skull raggedy fence just absolutely gorgeous love that little skeleton look at that so once again elements for the house and also elements that could go into that tiered tray next up we've got the candy apple and it's got a pumpkin face on it which is really cute and it's a lovely size once again so when it's made up it is going to be approximately this height and I'm going to say that that is one and seven eighths and then the width on that one is two and one sixteenth a fraction over two inches has that then we have a tombstone which is fabulous that could be turned into a mini book um, if you've got any little boxes that you want to decorate up for Halloween you could pop that onto the front of the box and then put candies inside it but you've got the rest in peace and the little ghosty and I love that little spider and of course because you've got the inner frame it can also be a shaker so the size of that one go to the top scallop there we are at on the cut line three and three quarters and then on the width we are at two and seven eighths and then I have lots of Halloweeny um, words like I can see witch and little and say boo and I think that's happy yeah happy Halloween we've got broom creepy and I I think that says scary moments I think but we're going to cut them out I'm going to use a couple tomorrow with this and then this I absolutely love this this is gorgeous 
so you've got your spider web border you've got your bat border you've got your little um, candy corn border which will go onto here its base and then you've got your, your candy sweets which will go onto this base absolutely love that and the width on it is five inches so they're all five inches and then I think a lot of people are going to love these look at the detail these are Christmas mittens and they've got I'm going to try and get as close as I can there you go you've got a lovely stitched edge if you want to layer it up but you've got those beautiful fair isle designs in those mittens you've got the strings you've got extra cuffs and you've also got plain bases you can turn these into shakers if you want to they're just so pretty and then in that same design again we have a fair isle coffee cup which has got that on the band and you've got all your whipped cream and you've got your candy cane piece and your little lid section to go onto there really pretty and then we have a gorgeous doily look at that I love doilies now the width on this doily is let's have a look three and a quarter inches a fraction over and then we have a lovely flower now I do not have a clue how this goes but I can see that there's all kinds of individual petals that need to be glued on and we will be making this so when we do that I'll be able to measure it and then we have a half doily or you can turn it into a whole doily or you can use it just like this and cut the edge on a card so you can have two flaps coming into the center so dies like this are just really useful so here we go cut line to cut line is four inches and then if I go through the center there we are at two inches and then I've got this beautiful big lace panel which you can switch out the elements within it this comes in half I don't know if you can see that so that you can have the flap and just change the borders that go with it so I'm looking forward to using that one that's a great background that's going to be great for Christmas as well and uh, you know you can do a little bit of ink blending and put all your gingerbread men and all kinds of stuff with that and we are at five and five sixteenths which is really a fraction over five and a quarter and then we've got this lovely Halloweening background which has already got your spiders it's got your webs to emboss you've got your little moons and stars and you'll just cut that into your paper and then your spiders will pick up whichever colour is coming through from behind so nice little close up of that one and the size of that is four and three quarters and three and three quarters just a fraction over and then we've got this fabulous skeleton and I love this I don't know how many people can see it already but you know that's got a double use you've got the skeleton and you've got its base take away the skeleton take away that you've got the bow if you've got a little peachy keen stamp you've got a gingerbread man so that's fabulous it's a double use and if you want to use the big eyes on your gingerbread you could absolutely do that too but I'll be making that one so that we can see that you're getting you know two uses from that next up we have a Halloween pumpkin alarm clock and of course you'd put the hands to midnight wouldn't you because that's the witching hour and you've got the little numbers here that you can add onto the dial I'm not sure what that is I think that might be the the jingly wiry bit that goes on top yeah for the pumpkin it's the stem and those little I don't know what you call them those little twirly bits that come out of your pumpkin when they're growing yeah just don't listen to me and here you got these bits that go onto the bell to layer it up so that's really cute great for sticking onto Halloween gift bags and then we've got another set with layering up pieces now all of these are hollowed out these ghosts so once again you're going to be able to use I think my camera staggered then 
you're going to be able to use um, your little peachy keen faces onto there but you've got your layering piece for your candy corn your pumpkin even a little stamp you can use for your bats and your spiders and of course your cauldron so looking forward to using that as well and then next up we have a pumpkin box now that obviously has to be made so that you can see it but you get two pumpkin faces you get that little tiny twirly bit that comes from the top and you also get the pumpkin leaf next up we have bats and ghosts and cutie things and these are balloons and these are the balloon strings and I just think that is absolutely awesome I'm really looking forward to making that one as well and then next up we have a little closet or a little shelf and you've got a little drawer below which is going to emboss little doorknob handles and you've got the feet there and you've got all little elements that go in so you can switch that out for a berth because you've got like an ABC cube and put all those elements in but here you've got a little reindeer and another little deer and that star so that could absolutely be also for Christmas so let's have a look here let's go right down to the bottom and it's four and a quarter inches and then across we are at two and seven eighths which is you know a little bit over two and three quarters and then we've got stars we've got words we've got matching little tags and I think that says magic from and I'm not sure about that but it's another thing that has to be cut out next up going back to that um, Christmas fair oil mitten set and coffee cup set we've got the hot cocoa one once again I think this can be a shaker you've got all your whipped cream and you've got your candy cane but they're just absolutely beautiful how quick and simple to make a card because you've got all that lovely design within it already right next up is a stamp set and there are all sorts of wonderful sentiments here i'll just tip it out of the sun thank you for your kindness thanks for being a ray of sunshine on cloudy days how did i get so lucky to have a friend like you you are the best bestie ever friends are the family we choose for ourselves my life is blessed with amazing people like you and it just goes on and on and on and there is more whoops i think that bit goes that way thank you for being my friend sending big hugs thank you for just being you sending my heartfelt thanks and that comes with a die so you can see all of those sentiments placed there you stamp the whole stamp because it's just one whole piece and then you put your die on and you just cut the whole thing out so you can have a little bag of sentiments ready to go i love that next up i asked for this one because you know what i'm like me and my garden and i saw it and i thought that is a wonderful realistic looking carrot so you know i'm thinking yeah you know i'm going to be able to use that for easter but to be able to put it into my garden journal and stuff like that so they just look so great and if you've ever seen those like multicolored rainbow carrots when they look gorgeous done like that you know purple and orange and white and just tucked into your garden journal pocket or even on a packet of seeds that you're giving to somebody some carrot seeds so and that's another great easter gift actually because seeds are so expensive now you know for the really good quality ones so for easter you could actually do it with your carrots on a seed uh, packet and then just pop seeds inside right next up we've got this gorgeous frame I don't think it matters which way it goes it can be used with that flower or without it and it's got lovely details so I'm going up to the tallest part there five and a quarter inches and then the width I'm going cut line to cut line and we are at four and an eighth next up is a little uh, gift bag which has got beautiful stitching you got little trims and then you've got this fabulous cupcake which you can see nice and thick easy to fix down because that's going to make that into a shaker and then you've got little teddy bears and you've got a little bunny face peachy keen stamps again just use your smallest ones and then you've got your case 
so that's really pretty and if you wanted to you could do it for Christmas and you could put little holly up there if you've got holly dye so it doesn't just have to be for birthday now I do have to make that one to measure it I forgot to say that and then we have this fabulous pumpkin trick or treat look at that you've got eyeballs you've got eyeballs with eyelashes you've got mushrooms the layering piece candy corn again fabulous spider you've got a little snake wiggly worm and then you've got the skull just absolutely gorgeous really cute love it once again needs to be made and then last but not least is a witch's hat box now I'm going to be doing these tomorrow and probably choosing a few other dies from here to add in with those and then that's going to take us to um, it's all right my brain's working overtime yeah because today's Tuesday that's Wednesday we will do the hat box on Thursday so I know quite a few people want to see this one made up all these strips here they make the box look like candy corn and then you've got the witch's hat which goes on top and then you've got a little spider you've got little eyes so really cute and that is what I have for you today yes it was a long video and I've rambled so I'm gonna go now but I do hope you have an absolutely awesome day and as usual all links below bye